Morning. Touch of frost today. It's like the moving cattle in yard. Must be shifting somewhere around. I'll go and see what they're up to. Looks like they must have escaped last night. Out of there. <laughs> Brilliant. The new cattle that came. That reason we have them gates. Doubly sure that nothing can get out. Get them back in now. Go on, boys, get back in. Come on. Come on. They're back in. Yeah. Good day at college. Yeah, you missed out on Farm Star, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> right, me and Emma are going with shovels, uh, forks. Andy's probably going to give us a hand as well. I think, maybe, possibly, I don't know. And this path off because those cows have been out all night have made a mess of it. Great. It's getting cracking with the straw blowing. We will put these shovels back and get some cattle fed, eh, Em? Sound like a plan? Ah, uh, good. There's something happening, isn't there? Jeez. So we, we got those cattle last night and I'm guessing they've just, one of them must know how to open the gates and yeah, escape. At the minute we're getting quite full up with cattle. So we're going to transform at least one of these bays into a cattle pen. So that might be part of the job today. We've got to shift all our straw and hay out of this one here and maybe move it across here so we can get at least a bay free. Lovely. So I'm off to start a mix. So I'll drive my JCB up here, park it up, and then I'll walk back for the uh, for the mixer. So back it up. Turn it off because I hate leaving machines running. It just costs money. They were old machines, maybe. I'd keep them running because sometimes it's the only way to keep them running. Um, but when you're selling it and it's you're working it out per hour, what it's cost you, every opportunity that key gets turned to the off position so unless it's not warmed up something like that I would rather pay it for a starter motor than pay the depreciation on the clock hours starter motors are cheap compared to clock hour depreciation <laughs> anyway enough of that I'm getting on my mixer oh, I just had a phone call off him because Andy's told her to call me Sorry, you're full, in it? <laughs> I will see. I'll have a, I've got a walk to do, but it saves me putting it all in, doesn't it? Business. The last in that, the last in. It's got a ton in it. The reasons that I um, turn the tractors off and, and make it into a habit is um, on the JCBs, they've got the telematics and there's a live link. And before we really got on top of turning machines off, I had a look at our statistics on there and a third of the time it was at idle so that means we paid for if you know a 3,000 hours we paid for two services just for it to sit there ticking over not really doing anything think about that just in service costs hey, yeah, let me in here with this straw blower him oh business so I'm just blasting some straw in here. Get these guys nicely bedded down. Gotta keep her happy to keep them producing. Sure I've got somewhere nice to lay down. Chew the cud, start ruminating. If they don't want to lay down, then they can't bring that could back up and redigest it. So I'm waffling on, but basically it's essential that they've got a nice, comfy bed. <clears throat> so I know all these activists and that want you to think that uh, as farmers we don't look after our animals, but. Uh, 
the thing is we wouldn't be farmers if we didn't look after them because they don't produce you'd go out of business simple as that it's not a lardy dardy thing look at us we're really good at uh, animal welfare animal welfare and good business go hand in hand you ain't got good animal welfare your animals don't produce therefore you ain't got a good business simple as that another time tea time <laughs> and biscuits delivered with three chocolate bars chocolate bars i'm slimming well i'm just not eating chocolate bars basically i eat too many I'm stopping. It's got a little bit of fuel to keep us going. Is it the same one that goes to the petrol station? And I laughed at her. And then it's got a jet on end, so it must be. Cleaning the crush out. So we're going to run some cattle up and we want it all to work nice and smoothly. Do some vaccinating. Worming and fluking. Just got these vaccinated, wormed. Em's been clipping their backs. And yeah, jobs are good, in, isn't it, Em? Yep. She's there. You're getting good at this, aren't you? Andy, you need more practice. <laughs> I think it's me who needs more practice. The hair on their ears with a pair of scissors so we can read the tags. Saw it in a YouTube video the other day and I thought that is a good idea. So we implemented it. That's what we do, innit, Em? We get people, other people's ideas and we implement them to better ourselves. Business. Andy's workmanship. Nice wide clip along the back. Let's keep them cool. Well done, Andy. My doggies. Oh, big man. Hey, hello. Hello. Glad I've had my dinner because I was starving. Now, this afternoon, I think we're going to get a bit of muck out. Um, take it onto some of our own land. Um, so I'll just set Andy off with that in a minute. Which should be a good job. Um, you had a nice dinner. Yeah. What, did, what do you have? Uh, ham wrap. A ham wrap. Business. Business. It's also I had um, corned beef, corned beef sandwiches. Cause I told my mum once that I liked them, and that's it. Now that's all I get. They are, they are the business. Corned beef. It is. It's all right. Corned beef, isn't it? It's like that. Knock it. Well, me and Em are off into this pen to clean the water trough that is at the back. Um, I hate water troughs that are in the back of pens because you can't see them as often and uh, the cows tend to stand in them and get them real mucky. I'd prefer them to be on the outside where I can keep an eye on them and they can't get anywhere near them with their feet. That's a nightmare and he loves them in the back of the pens so we have fallouts about it. Family mm, loves these type of troughs them doesn't he? But is he one who cleans them out? No. No. It's not always not. me, M, or Andy. And today it's me, M, and Andy, which is brilliant. Easy job. So we've about got it cleaned out now. What's my saying, M, for how clean it's got to be? Exactly. If you won't, won't put your mouth in there and fucking have a little drink, then why should they? But I've never forced you to drink it, have I? Um, just, to, just to clarify. <laughs> Hello, mister. You happy? Hey? You happy? See, this is another water trough. Just a little bit of sediment built up in bottom. But probably... When will it be due to be cleaned out, this one, Em? Tomorrow or the day after? Yeah. It's clean, just just because they're eating barley, they bring it over on the mouth and the nose and uh, fetch it to the trough. But if it starts building up, then it doesn't, the water will start tasting a bit funny and they'll not want to drink it as much. And then they don't eat as much, do they? It's just a bad do altogether, so. Lovely Angus, aren't they? Yeah. He's October, so. Not, uh... um, is waiting on Andy to get back so we can do a bit of mucking out. So I think what I'm going to do is get those shitty Chinese clippers, which aren't shitty, they're good, because um, they last as long as 
the uh, really expensive ones. And I'm going to... Um, one's got a knackered head on it and one's got a knackered motor. So I'm going to swap them over and hopefully make a good one out of two bad ones. Business. What are these clippers? Well, we got uh, what, three yeah. in there. M's got one in her hand. What's we on there? Five. Bag here. Full of them. God, um, yeah. I'd um, set it up and we could have a race to see who could dismantle it quickest. But you're in front of me, aren't you? So, so I'll say that I won, okay? What's right, right. <laughs> that then, Em? Hey? Simple. Literally two two bolts, two bit screws here. Hold the head on. Do, 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 do. Take it off. Em's already got hers off. And we can just swap that straight over. There is some like intricate parts inside it that we could change, but we might as well just swap the heads because... 45, 50 quid a time. It's not worth going any further with I'll it. leave you to that. Cost me and Andy's gone get some muck out. Andy's been on the big 210 beast and took some down to a concrete pad that we've got, which is nice. So we're getting this trailer pretty much full now. Andy bedded these up this morning, that's why there's so much, so much straw in the muck, but um, it'll be alright, it all goes back into the soil, doesn't it? We shouldn't have bedded them up really, but we didn't know at the time that we'd have a bit of time to muck out. So, it's all good. I think Em's got them clippers fixed. We'll head back over to her and see what she's doing. Business? Oh, need any uh, clippers repaired? M is your girl. Sorts the job out. Oh, as I've been mucking out, Andy tipped. I'm trying to blame this on Andy, but it's totally my fault. I've tipped, um, tipped some shit over the side, so M's just going to uh, get the shovel and clean that trough out. It's not much, I thought it was worse than that actually. I like him. I know. Yeah, just out of that trough. We'll get that tidied up. Nobody likes eating shit. <laughs> put him in it, I put my well eating trough and then you can shovel up to it. <laughs> big help, big help. Legendary. <laughs> Right, so we're waiting for Andy again. You're right there, Em. Go on, say that, say that. We're always waiting for Andy, right? Yesterday won't be efficient. Today is not been efficient again because it is like gone down the road with his tracks. <laughs> Yesterday you weren't efficient with the... Uh, diesel tank. Diesel tank, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yesterday. Do you, do you not remember where you were yesterday? She does remember this stuff, but she were at college yesterday. Ray, what did you learn? Come on. Dairy farming, actually. Dairy farming. A year right. of a dairy cow. All right. Tolerance. How many days are in a year? 365. Bang on. You did learn something then. <laughs> Cracking. Yep. <laughs> uh, I've listened to you and see your dad, and I think from the next one again. Really? Yeah. What a joke. <laughs> well me and em are getting a uh, manual and digging out like underwater troughs and round girders and stuff while andy gets back tidy job up out with em strong bull gate here that we've had for eternity i think we're going to use it in that bay to um make a new cow pen we're just trying to um and ah on how we're going to do it if we're going to sleeve it and what concrete we're going to use and uh, yeah we'll get there i think we have to dig it by hand though not use the digger might you might make too big a hole yeah, to put the bull gate here somewhere hang a gate at this end and a gate at that end and block the end panel off but andy made a suggestion where he said we've got an old trailer and we could tip it on its side about to call it a day. Uh, we've just been looking at building that new um, cattle pen 
uh, just a temporary one really. We can get some grazing cattle that we uh, want to house and feed a different diet. Um, some, yeah, some random uh, ideas coming <laughs> coming out of the mix, but uh, we'll think of some we'll get some done. Uh, M's back tomorrow. I think we've got a big make. Um, not sure about Ash, he might be shooting, but um, should be a good one tomorrow. Should be fun. Uh, looking forward to it, like the weekends. So, yeah, see everybody tomorrow. Remember, if you like it, hit that subscribe. See ya.